Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys doing? Hope you're well. See what's going on with you guys, your overall energy surrounding you. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You might want to check those out. There could be a message there for you. This doesn't resonate. Pisces, what do you need to know about your love life, finance, career? Pisces. It's overall energy surrounding you, Pisces. There we go. There's another one. Angel of love. So this is about balance and love. Finding that balance, balancing head over heart. Oh, going off on a new path. Two people coming together that may have feelings for each other. There may be love here. You may have somebody who wants to team up with you and go down that path that could move towards commitment marriage we have uh taurus virgo capricorn or it's somebody who has uh who's financially stable it really could be anyone someone who's financially stable grounded practical someone who's ready to go down this path someone may be making you an offer communicating something here uh, i've this is someone who takes their time. This is, yeah, you've got definitely, you, some of you may even have a choice between two people. Uh, there is somebody here who's sort of looking into the future about going down this path of love. Yeah, you may have this person around you or you have a choice between two Pisces. Wow. Someone may be making plans to come towards you to express themselves, uh, that they want to uh, go down this path, commit and build something with you. So it's a lovely energy. Pisces. Clarity for Pisces regarding your love life, finance, career, whatever is the most important to you right now here. We'll see where it goes. Most of the time it's love and romance. I'm seeing this. I mean, this could be, you, you could be creating something, working in a team. These could be the people that you're working with to build something, to create something, something you love, something that'll bring balance. But there's a need for balance, balancing head over heart, balancing work and love. Maybe some of you are, you know, have someone here who's trying to figure out how to uh, keep going down that path of uh, creating something new, but how to balance it out. It could be that energy as well. Yeah, we have temperance, somebody who's tempering their thoughts, emotions, finding that inner balance, balancing head over heart. Look at that. Yeah, so someone's pulling back. They may be looking at you differently, uh, seeing you differently, and it could be yourself sort of pulling back and seeing the situation different or how you can do things differently to create this balance. Uh, to get the things you want to go down that path towards the this is i always call it the golden palace it's a temple path it's about commitment marriage uh teaming up it's about prosperity but it takes you know two people to build something right that's that third pentacle on the top building something together one pentacle at a time yeah we have the wheel of fortune here so there is definitely uh, a cycle ending I feel there's something about to go in your favor. Something is about to move forward. So someone may be coming towards you, trying to figure out how to keep things going, how to, someone may even be just seeing you in a, in a very positive light. They may see you as this wheel of fortune, but they're pulling back. You may be different than their usual type, or uh, they're trying to figure out how to come in and balance head over heart <laughs> to keep things moving. This is someone who wants things to go in their favor. So yeah, we're someone may be thinking of commitment, marriage, or building something. This could be building a house, a home. Uh, you know, it could be you may be in a situation with someone where you're thinking of moving in together. Uh, definitely things are about to go in your favor. I see there's a foundation building, and this is building that foundation through cooperation, compromise. Uh, you may be trying to make a choice between several people who's the most compatible. Uh, you may be looking back to see who's a good fit, who isn't. You may end something with one person to move towards another person to build uh, that foundation, to build a, a commitment. Wow. Uh, to build a house, a home, to move in together. It could be just building a financial foundation. It could be people working together to create something that so that wheel of fortune keeps moving forward. You know, we have someone here who has a little remorse and regret for not uh, sharing their feelings and emotions. But this is also about finding that balance, pulling back, doing things right. It's about whether someone is a good fit, whether you're compatible. Uh, it looks like a choice. But it could be another person heading your way doing it. So flip it however it suits you. 
There could be some unfounded fears here. Uh, sometimes when I see this positive energy around this is somebody who has some remorse, regrets, or they have some fears, okay, that things won't go in their favor. And uh, it has to do with this foundation. Someone might be regretting not sharing their feelings, okay? Yeah, somebody may want another opportunity. They may be trying to figure out how to, because it's like this on and off, uh, you know, the wheel of fortune, it keeps going. You never know where it's going to stop, but I feel something's about to go in your favor. Yeah, we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who's very focused on some passionate, creative energy. Someone who's kind of holding back. Uh, this could be someone who... This is someone who knows what they want. This is someone who's not afraid to go after what they want, but there may be some remorse and regret. Someone might have been focused too much on a physical energy. Someone might be just focused on their work, creativity, you know, focused on that money, not enough focus on love. So there may be a cycle here where someone's thinking of trying something different, trying to, you know, maybe build a foundation, build a relationship. Interesting energy. Yeah. Someone who maybe I feel kind of holding back, but this is someone who once they make up their mind, they go for it. I feel like someone's about to do that. It could be any one of these people. I mean, you may have a choice between several people, maybe even three. So that's interesting, Pisces. We have judgment. So there is a big decision. I see a Libra energy. This could be a reconciliation. Or this is about healing and releasing something uh, to basically rise again. So it's a decision. Someone's about to make a decision to take charge of a situation, to take control. They're releasing something that doesn't serve them. Now that could be focused on that physical, that passionate energy, or it could be someone who's focused too much on their work, their business, and it's now tried it, time to try something different. Okay, and that is more than likely someone who's trying to figure out how to balance, uh, to keep moving down the path they want as far as their finances, but how to balance their work, run a business, and still have a love life is what it's kind of looking like. Interesting. So there is a possible reconciliation or a decision here. Yeah, you have that king of pentacles, someone who likes to plan for the future. You know, this is an energy of somebody who looks into the future very, in a very practical way. They look at the details very meticulously. This is someone who wants success. They plan for success. It could be someone who um, has been, you know, they have all their ducks in a row, the house, the home. Uh, they have a, the bank account. They got the business. Everything's running well. It's a well-oiled well uh, machine here. And they may, so this may be someone seeing it's time that things are, you know, it's a favorable time to now commit. They planned for that future. They may be uh, thinking of coming towards you it looks like a really big decision so it could be yourself in this energy but it could be another person yeah i see some kind of communication uh fast and fiery passionate uh energy somebody here definitely it's a little bit of regrets I mean, maybe there's somebody who wants to talk to you but it's a been there done that energy sometimes where someone this you may have someone here who's been married before and they regretted it uh, because somebody wanted everything their way. They were controlling and demanding. Uh, you may have made a decision to kind of move on. It's possible. But I feel there's some kind of fast incoming communication. Uh, it's an energy of kind of reading between the lines, looking at the details. There may be some regrets and remorse here. Maybe you had a communication with someone back and forth. Maybe they made a bad choice. <laughs> Uh, you may have decided to, you know, you may have judged this person. Maybe somebody judged you wrong or you judged them wrong as well. But I feel you got someone who's looking into the future. They're planning a communication. Yeah, so definitely I see an energy of someone who is focused on themselves, focused, it's all about me. Someone's re has some regrets for that. They were focused on that physical, not enough about the love, the emotions. Uh, so I do feel someone's regretting something. But I don't feel like it's super heavy. I feel like it was just somebody's bad judgment, okay? Uh, so I do feel it's possible someone could come towards you, communicate something here. Now, this could be talk back and forth where this person's very enthusiastic, very lively, uh, you know, trying to be very friendly as well. Someone may have just put their foot in their mouth in bad judgment as well. <laughs> so it looks like it, it looks positive. I feel like it's not nothing super huge. I feel someone was kind of someone was trying to figure out how to get things their way. And I feel like they lack that balance. They didn't temper the passions, right? So someone who probably made a bad decision. They weren't grounded enough. They weren't talking about the future. They weren't looking at the details of their communication. They just decided to communicate and came in and put their foot in their mouth. They focused on themselves a little bit too much. 
Uh, so, yeah, this is someone who, I do see someone very creative. I mean, maybe you've turned your back on someone and you're focusing on yourself or you feel like they weren't focused on you in the right way. So you may have made a decision to move away from someone here as well because of it. But I feel like you've got someone who's going, trying to figure out how to move forward towards a commitment. They want things to go in their way. But I feel like if you want, it looks like you want a foundation or a commitment from someone. Uh, but if things don't go in your way, they don't want to commit I mean, maybe you regret judging this person or, you know, the wrong way. I feel like there's some unfounded fears, a lot of stress and worry about a communication, a regret about how somebody communicated. So we have the angel of balance. Why is this here for Pisces? There we go. Yeah. So there's someone here. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little, could be an apology. Someone's holding back. You know, they may have a story to tell, uh, but this is about balance. Yeah, there was a lack of balance here. Somebody was uh, maybe focused on themselves a little too much about going down this path. It was uh, there wasn't a lot of cooperation or compromise. There wasn't a lot of teamwork here. So there could be some kind of an apology, but someone's a little apprehensive about reaching out. So they're kind of looking. This is somebody who lacked the balance. They didn't temper something here and or they tempered it too much. They offered one cup. Maybe they were telling a story. Maybe it didn't feel very sincere to you. So, yeah, so there is this energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio uh, definitely could be uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Uh, Sagittarius energy is pretty strong. Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, a little bit of that. Tell me about the temple path. There we go. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah. You're, you're, you want someone who cooperates and compromises. You want to build something beautiful. You're in this Empress energy. You have a lot of love to give, a lot to offer. Uh, you're willing to cooperate and compromise, but you aren't going to compromise yourself for somebody uh, who doesn't want to commit. So there's definitely been a decision of some sort here, but I feel what's happening is something has ended. Somebody is ending something with somebody or ending uh, a habit, a pattern, whatever it is, or, you know, it could be anything. It could be somebody looking at things differently, seeing you differently. Maybe you're seeing the situation different. Uh, it could be a lot of different ways this could go. It all depends on your story. But the Empress is that Taurus energy. Uh, some Libra energy is very strong here. And I feel as this is an energy of having a lot to offer. Uh, but you're holding yourself in high regard. You want someone to come towards you right. Somebody you may have felt you know wasn't didn't come in very balanced okay there's a lot of energy about balance somebody uh, was maybe you didn't feel they were sincere so i feel it was like thanks but no thanks and the cycle ended you may have chose to end something but i feel like this person is now looking at the details there's some feelings and emotions here you know we have the king and queen of pentacles the power couple two people who are focused on their money finance career uh, two people who, you know, some very, a lot of earth energy here, I feel, Pisces. Some of you may have a choice between a couple of earth signs as well. You may be making a decision, uh, but I feel as though you don't see a future with someone. You're turning your back on somebody here because you're being grounded. You're trying to stay grounded here. Uh, you may be focusing on something else. I feel some of you may be just working a lot too. You may be on this person and it's now time to focus on love. Uh, it could be that simple, yeah. This is, yeah. You want someone who comes in just right. You want someone who brings balance into your life. There's that Libra energy. Yeah, you want love. You want commitment, marriage. You're starting to think about that. Uh, but if somebody won't commit, you do not see a future with them. So you could be moving away from somebody. Maybe you feel like they're not sharing their feelings, emotions, or not sincere. Uh, you're valuing yourself. You want to be valued. You want someone to see your worth. So... That's where I feel you've kind of ended something. And usually when that happens, it, it's on and off, you know, it can it can start up at any time, but there's a need for patience. Maybe somebody you lost patience with someone and decided to end it. They weren't seeing your worth, value, everything you had to offer. So you've turned your back. You've been focusing on your money. Uh, some of you are trying to figure out too. You have a lot going on. You're creating something new. You may be trying to figure out how to balance your love life and your work. You want to do things just right. You need that balance in your life. And I actually feel like both of you, I feel like there's two people here who could be just right for each other. Uh, you know, it's all about uh, being grounded, practical, looking into the future, making plans. Wow. So let's see what this man holding a coin is about. Yeah, so you've got someone here who's up in their head doing a lot of thinking. 
So you may want to know what someone's intentions are. You know, there's that uh, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, uh, definitely strong Libra. I feel like this is somebody who's up in their head doing a lot of thinking. This is someone who's trying to figure out how to balance their head over their heart. It's probably a person who, uh, the air said, yeah, you need that balance. I feel as though, like, you... You want someone who comes towards you just right. You want someone who is a good fit. And I feel like you may be turning your back on someone who isn't and looking at someone else. It could be an air sign of any kind. Um, in fact, I, I feel like you've got a couple of people here, but it could be just this person's energy. A lot of people go through these energies when they're dealing with something. But I feel what's happening is this is someone who is using their uh, head over their heart. Okay, there's a lack of balance and you're looking at the details of the situation, but yet there's two people here are actually just right. Someone may be thinking that, maybe seeing you as just right. They might be thinking of marriage, sharing their feelings. It's a little bit of a journey here. Some of you are definitely turning your back on somebody uh, who may be not very sincere. They lack that balance, but it could be this person going, you know, they're starting to gain some insight, some clarity. This is someone very clever, uh, very wise. This is someone who may be wanting to talk to you, communicate, but it's usually as someone who's up in their head. They get an idea in their head, they roll it around before they make a decision, but it really is to do with balance. Someone may be seeing you differently. Maybe this person uh, didn't see you, see your abundance, see everything, all the positive energy with you uh, at some point. Now they've kind of stopped and started to think about it and realizing uh, that they're seeing you different. Now this could also be someone who's different than your usual type or maybe you are and uh, they're not so sure but you it looks like you want to know what someone's intentions are uh, you want to do things right you want someone to come in right you definitely are thinking about marriage and commitment like some of you are you know some of you definitely are working a lot and how are you going to balance the two things out it could be that simple there's a need for some communication for sure so we have temperance energy why is this here there we go yeah, so you've got someone here who's definitely, yeah, you may have a couple of earth sign energies or two people who are financially stable, grounded, maybe a little slow moving, uh, that wheel of fortune energy. So you may end things with one and move towards another. You may be looking at someone different than you did before. Or they may be looking at you differently. We have the king and queen of pentacles. We've got three king of pentacles energy here. Someone is making plans here. They want things to go in their favor. They're looking at the details very carefully. This is somebody who's always planning for success. So they may be seeing you different, like I said, or vice versa. They may be uh, making some kind of plans. Uh, they could be reaching out towards you. So someone who has, yeah, there could be someone from the past, someone who's, uh, this could even be a new crush, someone crushing on you. They may be thinking of doing something sweet. Uh, this is someone who a lot of times is, you know, I, I feel like you got someone who uses their logic, their head. They get up in their head a lot. Uh, this is someone who needs to kind of get out of their head and get grounded. Uh, this is someone who maybe has a hard time sharing their feelings. So they may just do something sweet for you to get things moving, to show you that uh, that they like you. They may, you know, want to keep this moving. But it could be, it's either a new crush or someone crush or someone from the past. Uh, someone may be reminiscing here pulling back you may be thinking yourself about someone from the past uh, seeing them differently than you did before because i can see that for some of you tell me about the wheel yeah so we have a couple energies yeah so i feel there is definitely an energy of something ending and starting again healing possibly a reconciliation uh, look at how that flows so I feel you got someone who wants to reach out. They want to take the action of talking to you about a house, a home, a foundation, a reconciliation. This is about building a foundation. Looks like you got somebody who's reminiscing and maybe wanting to reconnect. It could be someone you met a long time ago that's seeing you different than they did in the past. Or they just have some very sweet memories of you. And uh, it, like I say, it could be yourself weighing the pros and the cons between a couple people who have this King of Pentacles energy. And I feel there's a, definitely a communication. Someone's taking action. I mean, they, this person may show up at your house. They may leave something at your house, a little gift. Uh, but this is about two people coming together to build a foundation to go down that path. So I feel someone's going to reach out and talk to you. They may just reach out and go, hey, are you home? Can I come over? Or do you want to come over to my house? Or Because uh, it's building the foundation. It's about commitment, marriage, two people building something. 
Four of Wands. There we go. Yeah. So you definitely have, yeah, you've got uh, an Emperor. We have the Emperor and the Empress energy here, Pisces. I feel like you have someone. They could be a Taurus. They could be an Aries, um, Scorpio. Uh, but it's an energy of someone who knows what they want. Uh, somebody definitely is putting their foot down. There needs to be some kind of commitment. This could be someone who's a a builder, a homeowner, they may have a business like that. They're building something. This is someone very self-made. They have a solid foundation. Uh, I feel as though it's someone who has kind of has one foot in the door and out, but I would be a little cautious. This could be someone who wants everything their way. Uh, it's my way or the highway. I feel there's some kind of regrets. Now, I wonder if you had somebody in that energy uh, and they may be thinking of coming back towards you. Is this somebody who's built themselves up? Maybe they were the king of pentacles. Now they're the emperor. They feel like they have everything that they need uh, to. Is this somebody sometimes who wants to be a good provider? They want to make sure they got all their ducks in the row. They have everything. It's a person who plans the future. They want the bank account, the house, the home before they take that action. But this is a person who once they make up their mind, they go for it. It's not someone who surrenders very easy. So this could be yourself as well. You may have very strong boundaries. It's like we're either going to commit and build something or I'm not interested. But I feel like you got someone who has some regrets. Oops. Yeah, so there's a definitely I'm taking some lessons learned. I feel there's an energy too. Like if this is, I feel like with this energy in the middle, this is some kind of on and off relationship. Somebody came and went. Maybe you've had an on and off commitment relationship. Uh, it could be a lot of different ways, but there's this decision. Somebody maybe made a bad choice. Uh, maybe they wanted everything their way. They were stubborn, controlling, very domineering. The emperor can be. The emperor can also be someone who doesn't always share their feelings. Uh, it's not always the most emotional. It doesn't mean they don't have feelings inside. They just don't put them out there very well. And But I feel like this is someone who's taking some lessons learned. They're moving forward. So it could be yourself moving away to avoid a disaster, uh, not wanting to have any regrets. But I feel like somebody... Uh, wants to make peace. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate. This is someone I feel kind of regrets not taking the time to get to know you more because I feel they judged you wrong or they made a bad choice. Uh, could be yourself as well. So take it how it resonates. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, you've got someone here who is rushing in and out, wanting everything their way. I mean, some of you may have had a few, you may have a few people who are coming back from the past wanting reconciliations. Uh, I feel as though you're going to be very cautious. I see a lot of communication. You're going to be reading between the lines. But I think someone's planning something. I feel they're looking very meticulously at a communication. And I feel they're planning to come in and communicate. I feel they're going to be... I feel this person's going to be... Uh, enthusiastic but I feel your energy to regards to this is you want to make sure this person's focused on you like you may have moved away from someone to avoid a disaster you took off very quickly uh, they weren't focused on you how you wanted uh, there's something here that you wanted this person to do that made you make your decision to move away but I think they're about to make a decision some of you may have a couple people who want to re reconcile uh, this is a decision too you want somebody here who uh, rushes in and out for that passionate energy Energy. They want everything their way. You may be moving away to avoid a disaster, but I got a feeling you got someone who's learned something here. Uh, somebody has leveled up to that emperor energy. They may be wanting to heal the situation. Um, maybe they feel like you judged them wrong, or it could go vice versa. There's definitely been a judgment. Tell me about judgment. Why is this here? Yeah, so this could be waiting for a decision, waiting, he may be waiting for somebody. Yeah, but this is, see, this is someone here, I see some Taurus energy. Uh, you may not have faith in this person. You've been kind of waiting, hoping this person will come in and commit, but there's a lack of faith. So I feel like that's how you based your decision. Uh, but I think this person is... They're holding on, they're looking out there. And I feel like you may just wait and see how this goes. If this person comes in, if there's a reconciliation, you may be waiting for it, or maybe they're waiting for you. Uh, but I feel like there's has to do with someone's belief, traditions, behavior, the way they conducted themselves. There's been a judgment made. So I see this Hierophant energy. 
Um, yeah, it's about conditioning, conformity. Someone's not conforming. They don't. They want to do things their own way. Uh, but I, I feel like you have some of you got a couple people here. Uh, definitely, they may be people who've rushed in and out. I would be a little cautious, uh, but I feel like maybe you felt this person was the one. Maybe you felt that you know, this is someone you wanted to commit. So you're being faithfully, faithfully waiting. They may see you as someone who is faithful because you you're waiting. They may make a decision to come towards you. Maybe you've been waiting for someone a long time. Maybe they needed to. Um, it's possible they may have needed to end a situation. Maybe they were waiting for you to. Uh, or you've been waiting for this person to, you know, get their finances in order. Uh, there may be children involved here as well. Uh, someone may be trying to figure out how to, you know, balance out their love life, their children, their work. Yeah, there's a lot going on, I can tell you. But I feel as though there's this energy of, you know, if you have been waiting for someone, you know, you're always waiting for them. They rush in and they rush out. You may have lost faith, but this some someone who's making a decision, they see you as faithful. Okay, and they're looking at this energy. Somebody is seeing something different than they did before. They're seeing you differently or maybe even seeing themselves different too. Uh, but they're learning something. They want to communicate. They want to move away from this regret. Uh, they want to make peace. But I feel like what you have is someone who made a hasty decision. Uh, they were very stubborn, controlling. They wanted everything their way. And... Uh, they kind of let you get away is what I feel. They never took the time to get to know you. They rushed in and out too much. That's what I'm feeling. So I think they're looking at you different. Yeah, this person's very strong, very confident. They may not have been very confident. Maybe there's something you communicated. It could go either way. Uh, that this Maybe this person didn't feel confident or have the faith, or maybe you felt that way about them. And like I say, it can go either way. Yeah, there's someone here who needs to tame the beast within themselves to have everything their way. This is someone who's much more grounded now. They're having some regrets for not seeing the positive. They were looking, or they weren't looking at the positive, the connection, what they had. Uh, they were being, you know, holding back. Someone here needs to tame the beast. They need to release that negative energy, negative thinking, uh, and recognize this Two of Cups. Yeah, this person's burdened by something. They maybe feel responsible. Uh, you may feel this person's not responsible too and didn't have faith in them because they rushed in and out. It was something on and off. They just kind of came over to hang out. There was no real foundation because this is someone with one foot in the door and one foot out. So it uh, looks like you took off in another direction, but I feel this person's about to come towards you. They feel burdened. They feel responsible. Uh, I feel maybe you felt this person wasn't responsible they weren't behaving in a responsible manner maybe they felt you weren't a good partner or you wouldn't be someone who pulled your weight okay because this is someone who generally looking for a partner this is someone who maybe spends a good part of their life planning uh to get married um you know or live with someone to build something with someone in the future but this is someone who wants to have everything in order first so i feel like you got someone here who was definitely very stubborn yeah, so someone here is going through some kind of change. This is someone who I feel uh, regrets not going with the flow, getting to know you, just letting things evolve naturally. So I feel like you got somebody who's going to come towards you and communicate. Yeah, this someone this could be someone who's afraid you've changed your mind and you've moved on. You've moved away towards another person. It's possible, maybe you have. If you've been in some kind of separation from this person, you may be open to other offers, meeting other people, looking for the one. You want someone faithful. You want somebody. So you're going to be careful of any judgments or decision. Uh, but maybe you don't have a lot of faith in this person to come back and commit, right? So you're looking out there. You're not gonna, it's telling you not to sit and wait. Uh, the Empress never waits. The Empress does not sit around and wait. And I feel like you've got someone here who kind of sees that. Yeah, so they're a little afraid that you've changed your mind, you've moved on, but I feel they're going to try to come back around again. Eight of Wands, why is this here? Ah, putting something behind feel like this is an energy. This could be you. This could be them. I see that Aries Leo Sag energy. A lot of passion, a lot of fire. There's a lot of hard work here. So you may be thinking of giving up on someone. You have no faith. You're looking there. But I think they're looking at this. They don't want to give up. They're looking at this communication. Maybe they felt you gave up. You communicated something. Or maybe you felt they did. Now, someone was definitely... Uh, 
you know, it, it, this card to me is, it's somebody um, sometimes a little immature. I mean, there may be children involved. Maybe there was something said um, about that that you can't put behind like you know it's an energy if this person comes around can you put what happened behind and move forward successfully but not if this person's focused on themselves if they want everything their way uh, but i think you got someone here who doesn't really give up and uh, they're thinking of reaching out to you but i think they're looking at this they want to put whatever this communication is in the past it's it's not working something didn't work uh, but i feel like it's like you're both at opposite ends here yeah there was a very painful ending uh, and i feel like somebody wants to come back around they want to put an end to the situation i don't think they want to give up i um i mean maybe you're giving up because this person's not focused on you yeah they're not focused on you in the right way they're focused on that physical they just want to rush in and out they don't really want to commit and i feel like you're not waiting because you have no faith this person may not be behaving responsible you may not be able to rely on them to pull their weight in a relationship but i wonder if this person was feeling that way about you focused on the negative so wow yeah so i do think you got somebody coming back around this is someone who takes a long time to come back around uh, but i feel they're planning to talk to you to communicate they want to make something right they want to go about things the right way maybe take more time to get to know you i feel someone judged you wrong maybe they because you weren't waiting they felt you weren't faithful or vice versa you know it could go both ways but you know if someone keeps you waiting and they take forever to come and see you and then they just come rushing in for that physical connection all fiery passionate and charming you know and then they turn around and turn that focus around onto themselves and stop focusing on you and you start to feel that they're not focused on you in the right way so you start to move away and look elsewhere maybe they feel like you weren't faithful because of it but, I mean, how long does someone expect you to, to wait, right? So I feel someone's looking at a situation differently. Whatever it is that's happened between you. Feel they want to go about things right. They want to make something right. They want to put an end to this painful situation. They want it done. And uh, they are looking at this energy. Yeah, they want to take what they've learned here. Uh, they're becoming more decisive. I feel this person's going to come rushing in. Eventually, they're going to speed up. But some of you are moving away from this person. If you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, and you're moving towards someone else, you're focusing more on yourself. Maybe you're starting something creative, too, and you're more focused on that. Or maybe they feel they're chasing after you, anxious and impatient, because they feel like you're not focused on them. You see? that energy <laughs> yeah how long are you supposed to wait you know like i feel like you've lost faith in this person and you're making a judgment but i feel like it's a flip side for them so because that temperance energy looking at someone different to see if they're a good fit maybe someone felt you weren't a good fit but they were crushing on you and i think that you've got a person who's changing their mind here because they're seeing things different and i feel as though they're headed your way so you're getting a bit of a heads up yeah they're coming in they want to put an end to a situation they've gone through a transformation since you ended things uh, they may have ended something with someone else as well it's quite possible and uh, who knows what's happened in between it almost feels like there's been some time in between but but i feel you got someone who's very slow moving uh, maybe they needed to end the situation maybe when you met this person they were going through some kind of ending maybe it wasn't complete uh, they hadn't completely healed and transformed so they may be coming back towards you but i don't know if you're as focused on them uh, you want to make sure they're focused on you in the right way that's what spirit's telling you here yeah make sure this person's leveled up i feel like they have so they're just reflecting on something from the past here i feel how things ended why they ended so there is a lot of possibilities how this could work out some of you are exploring other possibilities in the meantime you might be waiting and hoping to hear from this person but i don't think you're you're i don't think you're just sitting there waiting the empress doesn't wait so you may be just hoping to hear from them and uh you know maybe you are starting to feel enthusiastic yourself about this that maybe you know that this person may come towards you that you know how you feel but i think you've lost faith in it because of it maybe you're worried this person's not faithful because they're you don't see them a lot they don't come in there's a lot gonna there's a lot of communication gonna happen if they do come back i feel it's not a hundred percent they are yet they're still at that they're becoming more decisive um, but i feel like 
I feel like they will, and I feel like you're going to be very cautious. But this is someone, once you stop focusing on them and you focus on yourself or someone, they, they, they can't handle it. So there's that adjacent possibilities. There's a lot of possibilities. Some of you are going to explore possibilities. Uh, I feel this person is starting to see the possibilities of being with you, all the things that have happened and why it happened. I, I wonder if there wasn't a, enough clear communication here. I don't see a huge amount of proper communication. Yeah, there's something blossoming, something blooming. Some of you may have started something with someone else. Now, it's possible there's something else beginning here. Uh, you, you're not focusing on this person so much anymore because you're tired of waiting. Yeah, sort of looking. I think they're aware of it. They're thinking this, right? They're thinking that you're moving on. You've left and moved on towards someone else. They're not, I'm going to tell you, they don't like it, okay? <laughs> uh, they're thinking of taking action. Yeah, they're thinking of taking action. They know they need to hurry up and take action and come after you. But there's this indecision. This could be yourself. When they come in, you may be a little indecisive about stepping out of your comfort zone, trusting this person, having faith, but it could be them. So there is a need for something to release. Yeah, you've been on a break. Uh, you've had a break with this person, but there's some negative stuff that needs to be cleared up and healed. It's all about finding that balance, you see. That's that balance between two people, balancing your head over your heart, uh, finding that inner balance. It's also about balancing work, play, love, children, uh, whatever pertains to you. I feel there's a lot involved here. We've got a couple of people who uh, really know what they want. They've uh, learned all the lessons from all the kings, the queens, and it's at that point now where uh, it's either either commit uh, do or die here. <laughs> it will not transform if someone's indecisive. If they come back that way, you will turn your back on them again if they do come in. And I feel like if they do and it doesn't work out, uh, I don't think it's going to drag on for long before you make a decision. All right, so I wish you the best here. It does feel positive. Uh, you know, keep the faith if you wish. Uh, but do not just sit and wait faithfully for someone who's likely not faithful to you. Okay, focused on other people possibly, and it, like I say, it could flip. So take care, wish you guys the best on this journey, and we'll see you soon.